Folks, something else I'd like to talk about is skin care in the summer months. We get tons of blistering heat and we're fishing for countless hours in direct sunlight. So proper skin care is very important uh, in the summer months, not only in the summer months, all year round when you have uh, bright, hot sun. Uh, so I would just like to talk about a couple of things that we do uh, to prevent our skin and keep, keep us on the water longer. Starting from the top, a good solid hat any sort of baseball cap will work. I try to stay away from the flat build hats because they don't provide as much protection. The baseball caps provide side protection a little bit more uh, than the flat bills do. Next, a solid pair of sunglasses like these Costa Del Mars. These are the Fantails and I got these with the 580 glass green lenses. Um, and that, those 580 lenses are very important. Not only do they relax your eyes so you're not squinting throughout the entire day, um, they're just very comfortable overall and they brighten everything up on the water while still dimming down the sun so you're not, you're not straining your eyes to look at things once everything is dimmed down by the lenses. Uh, they're very comfortable. I can wear them throughout the entire day. Um, they stick on very well to my face. They're nice and grippy, but yet they're nice and lightweight, which is something you really need to look for in sunglasses. Next, I would like to talk about tail and toads, both their shields and their fingerless fishing gloves. Both serve many different purposes and we love them year round, no matter what the conditions are. Uh, it's just solid protection to have. Even if it's a little bit cloudy out, it was a lot sunnier and hotter earlier today, now it's starting to cool off a little bit. Um, but these are absolutely key in protecting your skin uh, from the harmful UV rays from the sun. Starting with the shields, uh, all of these by the way, you can get in many different colors. I have a couple different shields here with me that make them in tons of different stylish colors to match any sort of outfit you want. Uh, this is a camel pattern, this is sky blue camel, some of the saltwater guys really like these kind of patterns. Uh, the gloves, you can get them in the same colors, you can get straight black, another sky camo. I've got the gray gloves on right now with a side liner, shield, um, really stylish to begin with and functional. So the shield, the shield provides protection for the back of the neck, the front of the neck, the bottom of the chin and behind the ears and that's very very key that it protects the backs of your ears because that's where a lot of fishermen get skin cancer or melanoma uh, because they forget to put sunscreen on the backs of their ears. With this buff you slip it over it's got sun protection built right into it don't have to worry about it again. Not to mention a couple days ago I had to have a couple stitches put in right here and the doctor said I can't put them in direct sunlight but with these tail and toads that I can do as I wrap it halfway around my head like this, pull it up, just underneath my nose, covers right around the sides of my eyes, put the hat over the top of that, and sunglasses over the top of that, and now we're completely covered. Don't have to worry about the scar being ugly looking and getting in direct sunlight anymore. It's just great. They're super lightweight, they're awesome to have, and if it's a little bit colder out, I love to wear them as well because then they provide heat for me and keep me and my neck quite warm, and I love it. On to the fingerless fishing gloves. These are great to have because unlike a lot of different fishing gloves, they don't have the individual fingerlets right here. They keep your fingers free to unhook fish, um, prepare tackle, anything like that. And without that added fabric, it allows them to dry even quicker too once they do get wet. The main reason I love to have these is that so I don't have to put sunscreen on my hands and the backs of my hands and all that. Because once I put those chemicals on my hand, it gets into my mind once I get it on my fishing lures and I'm thinking constantly, well I got sunscreen on my lures and the fish aren't going to bite. With the fingerless fishing gloves, you don't have that. Put these on, no sunscreen needed. Put the sunscreen everywhere else on your arms, just not on your hands. Keep your hands away from that sunscreen, those chemicals that the fish do not like, do not like to smell or eat. Um, and you'll be good to go. So overall sun protection is huge in these warm, sunny, hot months, guys. From a solid hat to solid sunglasses and other sun protectants such as tail and toads, shields, and fingerless fishing gloves, it's important to keep yourself protected when you're on the water and avoid problems later down the road.